Welcome to Bliss Show number three, brought to you by New Way Productions and Layton Broadcasting. I'm Tom Terror. I'll be with you all season right here at the MAC. I call games as well as do the Bliss Show. Bliss Show, what it's about, we we're going to ask a player every single week about their hometown, their personal life, the games from last week, the game before, and the nice little player poll at the end. This week I have with me Ben Ward, assistant captain, captain and future St. Cloud State Husky. Thanks for being on, Ben. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's it's fun to finally have a captain on here. It's been a lot of scrubs as of lately. Oh, but Suki. With, <laughs> Suki. And then the week one, Ryan Green. I guess we had a captain on yeah. here. But uh, we got Ben Ward on here this week. Ben, uh, we'll start out with this. This is one question I've wanted to get to with our guests. We haven't had enough time. When did you first fall in love with hockey? What was that I love hockey moment, whether it was a story when you were younger or older? Ooh. First fell in love with hockey. I'd have to say when I was playing triple-A hockey, um, I was probably around eight years old or nine years old, and that's when I first started like loving hockey. We started like traveling a lot. We went to Canada to play in, like, oh. in Winnipeg. So I think that's when I first started to love hockey, and that's where like I started uh, developing more of my skills. Yeah, absolutely. What was your triple-A team's name? Um, Minnesota Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah, yeah. I, still have, I still have the jersey from that. I kind of like that. That's awesome. Minnesota Monopoly. Um, we'll talk now about Annandale. Obviously, you're from Annandale. Yep. Um, was that a, is that a strong hockey community? So so. Um, is kind of. I feel like there's a lot of sports there to be involved with. So was it a strong hockey community? Yeah, I mean, our um, town didn't have hockey. Uh, yeah. So we. Pl I played for Monticello, which is. Uh, Monticello, Annandale, and Maple Lake. Maple yeah. Lake's another smaller town. The Moose, right? Yeah, yeah the <laughs> Moose. And um, I was probably one of three hockey players in my high school, but there's right. a lot of kids that are growing up, uh, going through the elementary and middle school right now that are playing hockey. And uh, actually, Annandale's now with Buffalo, Minnesota, okay. so they'll be there'll be a bison instead of a instead of a moose. So and just moving all around like crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of young kids, which is good to see yeah. in that community that are. Um, starting to play hockey. Hopefully some number sevens rolling up through the program, right? Hopefully. Is that what you wore in high school? Were you number seven too I, in high school? I was number five. Okay, number five. So number number, five. a lot of number fives rolling up through Annandale High School. Um, what did you like to do other than hockey? I mean, obviously hockey, hockey, hockey yep. when you play at this level, but what else do you like to do? Um, I like to golf. I live on a golf course in Annandale. Uh, oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, awesome. South Southbrook. So I like to golf every week with my like parents, my family, like friends if they want to like ever come up. And like I, I also like grew up playing um, baseball and football, and then when I got to like freshman year in high school, I quit both of them to pursue hockey more. Okay, so so you've been around. My next question was going to be: Did you play uh, any other sports? Yeah, uh, so yeah. obviously you've been around the bend. Was there something? There was was there was there a sport that was contesting for hockey uh, for your attention and what you wanted to do in the future? Ooh, uh, when I was ooh, when I was really young, I actually raced motocross oh okay I raced dirt bike and I was gone every week for that so it was either like it got to the point where I either had to choose racing or hockey because it, it was they were both yeah. just too kind or time consuming so I ended up just choosing hockey and hope for the best I think you made the right decision <laughs> I, <laughs> I, think I, think, so too. I, I think you did um do you well, we'll head to some more personal stuff like what type of show do you have a favorite show that you like to binge watch Right now it's Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds. I know okay. me and me and Suki were <laughs> were binge watching that in the hotel room a couple weekends ago, but I've just been uh, watching that every day when okay. I get home from hockey. So, absolutely. Uh, are you a gamer? Well, yes. if you are a gamer, what do you play? What are you good yes, at? Yes, I am. I I play Fortnite. Oh, I like that's everyone the, on the planet. <laughs> that's that's a, yeah. A lot of people play it, but I'd say I'm pretty good. Yeah. I mean, for those of you who know, like. Like Fortnite as like a game, like you have to build in the game, yeah. and you have to like obviously be good with yeah. your aiming. Yeah, and I'm more of a builder. Okay, you're a builder. So like those can be tricky. You can be. Yeah. It's tricky to be it, if you're a good is. builder. It is yeah. like a lot of people won't like they'll be shooting at me, but they can't hit me. Yeah. So I'm like more of the distraction guy. Okay. And like the other guys in my squad, because like you can play. Squads. I bet you know you'd be a good squad player then, yeah. because because you're yeah. the builder and everyone else can just shoot around as yeah. much as they want. Yeah. yeah. All right. Squad player. I'm, a good I'm a team player in Fortnite. <laughs> there you go. Um, 
Uh, do you live at home at Annadale, or do you live in a, with a Billet family here in town? I live at home. Okay, Annadale. you do live. Yep. Do any of the other players live with you, or is it just you? No, just me. Okay, so yeah. you, so you're all alone. Do you ever get uh, a little bit of crap for that from your teammates living at home? No, no. Uh, there's a there's a few guys a little bit at home, and then also like it's not too bad because like I have a younger brother, right, that lives at home. So yeah. and he's a hockey player as well. Right, absolutely. Um, and we'll talk really quick. Obviously, you played two years at. At um, in the Cloquet with the yep. Minnesota Wilderness, what is uh, what is Saint Cloud like compared to Cloquet? Um, obviously, like as a community, yep. I would say Saint Cloud is better as a whole. Yeah. Um, I know, like we're just starting out as a team here. Like yeah. they just moved from Brookings, so it's going to take a little time for the community to get involved with our team. Yep. So it's going to be nice doing like community events mm -hmm. um, to get out there and show like what we're all about and like who we are. To get more, a little probably, or to help get more fans mm -hmm. um, to the games and everything. So, I would say, for sure, Saint Cloud. Yeah, <laughs> that's not biased either. Yeah, that's, yeah, no. Cloquet's a nice little community, but Saint Cloud, is, there's yeah. probably a little bit more going around around here. Oh, a lot more to do too. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. And then on the same note of the wilderness, you played a season with uh, Suki, who's now a member yep. of the Saint Cloud Blizzard. Is that would you guys already have a good friendship going on when he came over here? Yeah, I, I've known Suki for probably five to six years now. Okay, wow. And the kid hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you, you know him. You know yeah, him well. Yeah. That's all you're gonna say. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a he's a clown. He's a character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, are you excited to be playing in St. Cloud where you're going to be playing your college hockey as well? Yes. Uh, not only because, like, obviously, like, I'm, like, live close to home. So, like, I'd have, like, more, it's more, um, it's, it's better for my family. And, yeah. Like, my grandparents, my cousins, if they want to come watch my aunts and uncles. Like, mm -hmm. just, that, like, for family to come because when I was in Cloquet, they obviously had to drive three and a half, yeah. three and a half hours to come watch me. So, um, yeah. I right. bet, well, one last note on Cloquet. I bet you like Gordy Hi Hats, didn't you? Did you ever go to Gordy's? Oh, yep, Gordy's. Oh, Gordy's is the best. I... Burgers and shakes. Oh, that's, that, that. <laughs> not, was... gonna, not gonna lie, Pedro's. Have you ever been to Pedro's? I've never been to Pedro's. That was a contester. Contester, okay. It a lot was. of people like Gordy's, so Gor I'll, I'll, I'll try that out. <laughs> it, it was just like Gordy's is like obviously amazing. Yes. It's super good. Um, but it was only open. Certain, oh yeah, certain months. So like during the yeah. season, like we won't be able to go there. Yeah. But when it opened up, I bet you went we, there. A lot. We, yeah, we went there a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, uh, so we talked about um, St. Cloud State, or whatever. Now to move a little more, even more personal. Who did you look look up to growing up? Whether it was as a role model or as a hockey player. Um, as a hockey player, I looked up uh, uh, Patrick Kane. Kane. I like to kind of like. Oh, showcase. don't tell me you're a Blackhawks fan. No. Okay. No, okay. No, good. No, 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 Oof. No. I like scary. To, I kind of like to um, mirror his game. Okay. So like his moves, the way like he plays, like I like I love the way he plays. And as just like a personal standpoint, I'd probably have to say my parents. Yep. Because of all the support that they've given me, and like if I ever need anything for like hockey or for anything, like they're there for me. So it'd be for like a personal standpoint, my parents. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's two two not bad choices there. Two not yeah. bad choices. Yeah. Um, uh, next question, Are, I'm assuming you're a Wild fan then? Yep. Minnesota Wild, I Wild mean, everything? They ha they were off to a slow start. Uh, slow. They Bad. lost <laughs> six out of the last, what, eight games now? Yeah. They just won. They won. They just they won. won. So they, um, we're, You're in we'll see mode. That's what you're yep. in, right? Yeah. We'll see mode. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and what's your uh, last for hockey stuff? What's your favorite hockey moment of your entire life or your entire, we'll call it your career? Hmm. I, I'm gonna have to go with uh, going to the state tournament. Yeah. Uh, I was a part of the team, like Monticello's first team that ever went. Mm -hmm. So, probably that. I mean, we lost in um, the state championship in double overtime. Yep. So it was kind of a, kind of a bummer, but. And who did you lose that game to again? Hermantown. Hermantown. Which that's I, right. I lived in Hermantown when I was oh, up with the Wilderness. Oh yeah, that's right. So. Gosh. There's a couple of Hermantown players on the team, so oh. they kind of gave me a lot of. A lot of crap. I bet they did. But, <laughs> I bet they gave it to but you. But it was all in good fun. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. I, I, I totally. When I did my research, I totally went through. You played in a state championship game. That how was that? I mean, that experience as a whole, like being at the XL, playing on the same ice the Wild do. Was that a pretty life changing experience? You could call it. Yeah, it was a surreal. Like it was obviously like very surreal, and um, being able to play 
where like an NHL team plays like yeah. growing up like you look up and like you dream of playing there and like dream of going to the state tournament because yeah. in Minnesota like hockey like the state tournament's like one of the biggest yeah. events so like the like in the state championship game like it was a packed house yeah so, oh it's packed oh I know so it's it loud a lot of guys yeah and, like a lot of fans I like I mean Minnesota hockey is like Texas football. Oh, I mean, it's yeah, like it's, it's everything. It's it's nuts. It's nuts. So yeah. it's that's the top for that level is the state high schools game, and and I bet I bet that was a blast, even though it was a loss. I bet yeah. it was a blast. Yeah. We'll move on to some more serious puck talk now. Talk about the blizzard um, on the road in Minot last week. We dropped two, lost six to three on Friday and five to three on Saturday night against the Minotauros. As the alternate captain, as well as just a general leader on the team, uh, what is the team morale after last weekend's games? Um, obviously, uh, in the locker room, coming back on the road trip, like losing four points, we didn't gain any. Um, we were pretty down about it. Uh, during the games, we had a few breakdowns in both games where in a span of, I think on Saturday night, like a minute, not even two minutes, yeah. they scored three goals. Yeah. Um, obviously that can't happen, and we're coming back this week in practice, coming out hard, and like mm. have like obviously like you want to have fun, but yep. like we got to put in the work in practice and um, come out and get ready for a big weekend against Bismarck. Yep, a huge weekend against Bismarck. This is your third year in this NAHL Central Division. Yep. You've seen all these teams quite a few times now. Just talk to the toughness and the overall uh, skill level of this specific division because I feel like it's a head above a lot of the other divisions. Yeah, skill level for sure. Um, I know the South is uh, like everyone like looks at the South as yeah. like pretty pretty tough. Yeah. Um, but. I think the Central Division slept on, on, yeah. on toughness. Yes. Um, but there's a lot of, like, great players in this division, like, on each team. There's a lot of great players and skilled guys and guys that play their role. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, just playing in this division, it's um, helped my game. Yep. And it's helped me grow as a player and then uh, to get to the next level. Absolutely, that's that's the key, right? And you're already going to one level, but you want to get the level on top of that next yeah, level, as right? As high as I can go. <laughs> exactly. Um, your your captain line, I call it the captain line on our broadcast because it's you, Bud, and Ryan. You're all yeah. uh, you're all captains on this team. Got back into the scoring column last weekend on Saturday night. Uh, uh, how did that feel? Was that a good momentum to kind of push your your line back in the right direction? Yep. Uh, obviously, we started out the season pretty hot. Yep. Um, so like we've been playing together um, all season long so far, and like we built up chemistry because coming in, I didn't know. I didn't know them, yeah. but I've like played against them, yeah. and I know that Green and Bud probably played together last year. Mm -hmm. um, so we went through a little drought there for a little bit, not being able to score, but like it wasn't that we were playing bad. We were playing really well, and we were getting a lot of chances. We just didn't get any puck luck. Mm -hmm. Like The bounces weren't going our way, but it was nice to see that our other lines were stepping up, yep. um, scoring, making plays, So, and after we got that... That point, we all got points on that. Too, yeah, which, yeah, it was, it was, was, it was nice. straight up. It was, uh, it was uh, yeah. green from Bud and you. It yeah. was, it was all you, all you guys. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> it was nice to get back in that column, and um, hopefully we can keep on a roll here. Yeah, absolutely. And talk about you talk about your other line stepping up. One specific line has really stepped up in the last three games. Yep. Uh, Flamang, O'Neal, Suki. Talk about what you see when you're watching them during the game. What are they doing so well from your perspective? Um, when they're in the off, like obviously they're playing very well in the D zone. Um, they're creating turnovers, and when they're in the offensive zone, they like Mo's or, uh, coach Mo. His um, his spiel is like get the puck deep, work yeah. hard, because that's like where we're best at. Yes, and they've been doing that very well lately, and um, create turnovers, and yeah. they find themselves find themselves in the like the right spots on the ice, and they get good bounces, and obviously make good plays to get the puck in the back of the net. Right, absolutely. I think we should call them the junior coneheads. We they're should. Just, they're just yeah. out there. With Suki on the line, for sure. <laughs> for With sure. Suki on the line. We'll talk about uh, this coming weekend now. we got two huge games against the Bobcats. The Bobcats are first in the NAL Central Division with 17 points. Uh, they're on top of the division right now. How do how do you guys as a team bounce back from the games in Minot? Um. Uh, obviously, I think, well, uh, this is another thing Coach Mo has said, just play boring hockey. So boring. I think we just got to come out this week and just get pucks deep and um, go back to the way, like, 
when like go back to the way that we're playing when we're good. The showcase. Yep. Yeah. So I think we just need to get pucks deep and just play hard. Yep. Yeah, pucks deep, play hard. Um, what? And my last question, you pretty much answered. What has Mo's overall message been? thus far this week in practice is there one like prevailing thing that he's been yelling at you guys all practice long um a couple of things and i've said them both uh, yeah just uh be the hardest working yep. team in like our division and around the whole league and play boring hockey play boring hockey it doesn't have to be flashy you just gotta yep. get the job done yep so if we just do those two things uh we'll be good absolutely and what is your favorite part about playing in this building, the MAC? Obviously, you've probably played in a lot of buildings yep. in your career. What do you like playing specifically? Why, why do you like playing in the MAC? Um, I grew up uh, playing youth hockey and high school hockey in Monticello. So we came here and played. There, mm -hmm. Like we had like a Christmas tournament here, and like when I was younger, like we played youth hockey here. So I've been I've been playing in this ring for a long time now, and like I get to know it. And uh, the ice is very good. The the rink. Uh, they rink guys and managers and they all just take care of the ice very well. Mm -hmm. They're always out there like making sure it's all like perfect and stuff, which is mm -hmm. which is great for us and it's very nice of them. So just the old like overall just everything that's put into like the rink, it's it's great. It's a good facility and now we just need some people to fill it, like you listening right now and yeah. watching right now. Uh, we'll go to the fun part, at least the players like this part. We'll go to the player poll. Now this has been uh, they've been talking about this a lot in the locker room, so this should be fun with a captain up here with us. Um, we'll start from the top. Who's the biggest ladies' man? Ooh, ladies' man. Okay. I'm going to have to go with B. Coops on this one. Cooper? Cooper. Yeah. I know he just went on a date this weekend. <laughs> oh, okay, he did. So I'm going to have to go with him. I also know Cujo went on a date before that, but <laughs> the most recent one is uh, Cooper. Cooper. All right, Cooper yeah. gets the biggest ladies' man. Who is the best gamer? We talked about this in depth a little bit. Who's the best gamer? Definitely not Suki. It, is, is, no. it can be you. You can vote for yourself if you want to. Best gamer? I'm going to go from a Fortnite standpoint. Yeah. Uh, either Belial. I'm going to have to go with Belial. Belial. Okay. Belial. Uh, who's the most responsible? Who's the dad of the team? Bud. But yeah, I, got, I, I think he's going to run away this award. That's the feeling I've gotten early I, in this. I, I think so. I mean, he, <laughs> I, heard, I heard that he even had a dad hat. <laughs> yeah, a dad just says dad. <laughs> so for sure, for yeah, sure, bud. For sure, bud. Um, who is the biggest nerd on the team? Nerd? Kittleson. Kittleson, okay. I'm only saying that because he did get a 27, I think he said, on his <laughs> ACT. So Kittleson. Kittleson, all right, biggest nerd. Um, who's got the best hair? Besides me, I know no one said me so far. And I kinda you, can, you can vote for yourself. No, you can vote for yourself. I'm going to have to go with Connor Quet on this one. Quet, okay. He does have some nice hair. does have some nice hair. Yeah. Uh, who has the best style on the team overall, fashion sense-wise? Borky's got some good style. Bud's got some good style. I'm going to have to go with... Reader on this one. Ryan Reed. Yep. Okay. He does have some nice style. All right. Ryan Reed gets best style. Who's the team goon? The fighter, the big hitter. Who's the team goon? I know that Rocco just yeah. got in a fight yeah. this past weekend. Yeah. Um, but I'll have to go with Bud. Bud? Yeah. Probably. I'll give it to both. Half point each. I'll, 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 I'll take that down. I'll take that okay. down. Half so, point each. <laughs> so Bud and uh, Rocco. Um, who's the locker room clown? The biggest goof? Suki. Suki for sure. <laughs> like the kid, like, he's just like a big kid, just like a kid. So he's, Suki, he's, a, he's a big kid. Yeah, he, right. he, he loves making everyone laugh. Like he loves just having the attention yeah. on him. So I mean, okay, Suki, Suki gets that one. Who's got the worst taste in music? A lot of people say Belial. Yeah, but I like his music, so <laughs> I, I'm not saying Belial. I'm gonna have to go with. Brit League on this one. League? Yeah. What does he listen to? Um, He gets a lot of his songs from like social media, but it's just like a mix. It's very bipolar. Okay, so it's like all over the place. Yeah. It's okay. Like, he like will play like a country song and then go straight to like hip hop and then the rap. <laughs> and it's like just stick on like one topic. <laughs> yes. So then we all get a feel for it. Right. Absolutely. Who has the best shot on the team? Best shot. Best shot. We have a lot of guys with very good shots on the team. Um, I'll go with. 
I'll go with Suki. He's had a hot twig so far. Okay, Suki. So Suki. Best shot. I mean, he's up there in goals for us, so that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, who's got the best handles on the team? Um, there's a lot of guys who have some sneaky handles, sneaky, I'd say. Yeah. Like Kittleson, he's got some good hands. O'Neal's got some good hands. Um, best hands? Who should I go with? I'll go with Kittleson. Kittleson, yeah. yeah. He's gotten at least one more vote on that, one one other vote on that, so okay. he's a popular choice for that. Um, who's the fastest skater? Put, put the sticks down. Who's the straight-up fastest skater? So we were watching film. Okay. Film this week, and out of nowhere, Brock Drager just came <laughs> from the very, like, back, like, with, like, the film was. Yeah. And just flew <laughs> past everyone. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> it's like he had jets. But also, I'm gonna go with Drager on this one. Okay, yeah. I mean, you saw it live at the, we the did. Yeah. yeah. So, so Drager will get fast skater. Who's got the best nickname? Um, Belial's got a good one. I call him Bell, like we call Bell. him Bell. Yeah. Or like Brady Bjork, we call him Borky. Yeah. I just heard. Well, that's name. hockey though. You throw a Y at the end. Is there any ones that isn't just throw a Y at the end? I heard a good one today. It was Bud. Yeah. Like his name, and someone called him Butter. <laughs> So I'll go with Bud on this one. I'll Butters? Call, yeah, Butter. <laughs> yeah, Butter. All right, Bud. Um, uh, who uh, – I had a different one written down here. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Who's got the worst laugh on the team? Worst laugh. Oh. I know Aquero. He's got, like, a few different laughs. Right. Um, it could be the most annoying laugh, too. Oh. Loudest. Suki. Suki. <laughs> Of course, when you said annoying, yeah, and yeah. it's Suki. Okay. He's got he's got some annoying laughs, and like he, he, he's not afraid to use them all. So it's <laughs> he's got a variety of laughs. He does. Yep. Who's who has the cleanest locker? Cleanest locker. Um, I'll go with Green. Green. Yep. He's he's running away with that one too. Yep. Who's got the dirtiest locker? Austin Humphrey. <laughs> so everyone's saying it. it Humphrey's trying to defend himself, but there's nothing to defend. Um, he's got stuff. Scattered all over the place. Um, we've told him like, "Hey, like, clean it up a little bit," and yeah. he just <laughs> he he wants this award bad, is what you're saying. He wants this. Award I bad. guess. I mean, I like in his like the only way he would get away with it is if like his gear like grew legs and like moved around, <laughs> and, like scattered itself. But I don't think that can happen. All right, Austin Humphrey for Dirtiest Locker. That's the end of the player poll, and that'll about wrap it up here for Bliss Show number three. Ben, thanks for being on. It yeah, was thank fun. You. Yeah, we'll be back next week with another Blizzard player. Make sure to stop by the Mac Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 7 p.m. Both games versus the Bismarck Bobcats. You can get your tickets online at stcloudblizzard.com or come into the box office on game day and grab your tickets there. Have a great day. You've been listening to The Bliss Show.